terrifying. Science just revealed something big under Yellowstone and under Mount St. Helens. Is a big eruption coming? Science just revealed something big under Yellowstone and under Mount St. Helens. Is a big eruption coming? By the time the sun rose over the Rocky Mountains this week, scientists had already worked through the night. A new wave of seismic imaging results years in the making had just come in from deep beneath the American West. What these underground scans showed was startling, even to veteran researchers. Something big is happening beneath Yellowstone. Something new something the scientific community is still trying to interpret. And hundreds of miles west beneath the iconic cone of Mount St. Helens, another story is taking shape, one that involves rising magma, persistent earthquake tremors, and a renewed debate about whether the most active volcano in the Cascade Range might be gearing up again. This is what scientists know. This is what they don't know and why both volcanoes have suddenly become the center of global volcanic research. The discovery under Yellowstone. At first glance, Yellowstone National Park looks peaceful. Forests, rivers, bison grazing, tourists snapping photos of Old Faithful. But beneath that calm is a piece of earth unlike anything else in North America. For decades, scientists have known about the giant magma reservoirs under Yellowstone. But the new imaging, created through an improved network of seismic stations and powerful computer modeling, revealed a new structure beneath the park. A massive, volatile, rich magma cap only 3-4 kilometers below the surface. This cap is hotter more chemically active, and more dynamic than previously understood. It appears to act like a pressure lid, trapping gases and heat below, while slowly venting steam upward into Yellowstone's famous geysers. Scientists compare it to a giant boiling lid on top of an immense stew of partially molten rock. Beneath this lies the colossal lower reservoir, stretching miles downward a body of hot, mushy rock that could fill the Grand Canyon several times over. But here is the twist. Scientists now think the cap may change how Yellowstone behaves. For decades, the public imagined Yellowstone as a ticking time bomb. But the new data hints at a more stable system, one where gases escape in a regulated way rather than building pressure toward a catastrophic explosion. The cap structure may act as a natural safety valve. Still, with a volcano this complex, scientists remain cautious. The discovery does not mean Yellowstone is about to erupt, but it also does not mean it's harmless. Yellowstone is very much alive, one geophysicist said. Not in a dangerous way, but in an evolving way. Strange rumblings and surface signs. Simultaneously, the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory has documented. Small but noticeable ground uplift in some areas. New clusters of micro-earthquake swarms. Increased activity at Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest active geyser. Changes in hydrothermal vent temperatures and gas compositions. None of these are rare for Yellowstone, but their timing coinciding with the new seismic imaging results has scientists paying extra attention. One volcanologist described Yellowstone as breathing again. The ground rises. It falls. Fluids move, gases escape. 
The supervolcano inhales and exhales in geological rhythms that span centuries. Most of these pulses are not dangerous, but each one helps scientists piece together how the underground system changes over time. Mount St. Helens, the West Coast's restless giant. While Yellowstone surprises researchers with mysterious deep structures, Mount St. Helens tells a more direct story, one written in earthquakes. For months, swarms of tiny tremors have been detected beneath the volcano. Over 400 of them, many so small they can be recorded only by sensitive seismic stations. These earthquakes don't scare scientists. They excite them, because they suggest magma is on the move. Recharge. That's the word geologists keep using. Deep beneath Mount Street Helens, fresh magma appears to be refilling the chambers that drained during the eruptions of the 1,980 seconds and the 2004-2008 dome building event. This does not mean an eruption is imminent. Scientists emphasize that volcanoes often recharge for years or even decades before erupting. But the pattern is familiar. The last time Mount Street Helens produced long-lasting quake swarms like this was in the years leading up to the 2004 eruption. Other signals remain quiet for now. No unusual gas emissions. No rapid swelling of the mountain. No major thermal anomalies. Still, the magma is rising. Slowly, silently, unstoppably. Scientists now say the volcano is entering a new chapter. Two volcanoes, one geological story. Yellowstone and Mount Street Helens are not directly connected. One sits atop a hotspot, the other in a subduction zone, but they share a theme. Earth is shifting beneath the American West. The crust is moving. Heat is redistributing. Magmatic systems are evolving. The region's volcanoes are not waking up in a Hollywood sense, but they are talking, and scientists are listening. Both volcanoes are currently active, changing, closely monitored, not showing signs of imminent disaster. But each discovery adds to our understanding of how these giant systems breathe and evolve.